just told my boss to shoot. This didn't go well for me. <laughs> didn't know who it was, couldn't look up. <laughs> so yeah, join us next week when my replacement will be <laughs> presenting this video. <laughs>
This is one of those variables we were talking about. You can change this. You could kind of go up to 10, 12 hours bulk fermenting. For this recipe, we're gonna go four hours bulk ferment. Our dough has bulk fermented for four hours and you can see it's got a little bit bigger, a bit larger. It's not massive, but that's okay. Sourdough by its nature is gonna rise much slower than like a regular yeast dough. So we're okay with this kind of semi rise our next step that we need to do is to ball and divide our dough. So at the minute it's bulk fermented, now we want to put it into dough balls so it can ferment again. So we're going to divide our dough balls into 250 gram pieces. This dough recipe is going to give us three 250 gram sized dough balls and one little mini baby dough ball. I like this. Um, the mini dough ball is kind of a great opportunity to test the dough. So I don't want to knock too much air out at this point, so I'm just going to kind of fold over from the four corners flip it over and now we can shape it. We can shape it with the sides of our hands and our little fingers and just press in, just seal the bottom shut, pinch them shut, pop them in your tray. And you'll note this dough is quite easy to work with, it's easy for me to work with and the big factor of that is the oil. So if you do want to go kind of pure Neapolitan, do bear in mind the dough will be a little bit more something. Next up we're going to cover those and we're going to leave them at room temperature for a period of time. Sourdough's a bit like inviting like your elderly uncle for dinner. He'll do everything that he needs to do, but he's just going to be a bit more slower, a bit more cantankerous about it all. So you need to give this kind of four to five hours at room temperature before you go in the fridge. Let's recap. We made our dough, we bulk fermented for four hours. We then boiled our dough and we left that boiled at room temperature for four hours. That tray then went into the fridge for anywhere between 12 and 24 hours. This guy is at 24 hours. It's then come out the fridge to relax the gluten and now looks like this. This is gonna be exactly the same as any other pizza, really. I've tossed the dough ball in a mix of semolina and double O flour, so that's a 50-50 mix. And we're just gonna open it out just as you would your normal dough. So we're just gonna migrate the air to the crust. We're just gonna stretch the dough there we go, a round-ish pizza base. Don't get caught up in shape, it doesn't matter. We're gonna make a classic margaritas, but we're just gonna do it the wrong way around. So we're gonna put the cheese on first, and we're gonna like splodge a few bits of our tomato sauce, which is just um, San Marzano tomatoes and a little salt. Rockbox is very, very hot, it's 500 degrees Celsius. I believe that's 942 Fahrenheit. So we're gonna flour the peel, we're gonna gently pull the pizza on, and then we're going to head straight over to the oven. So after about 20 seconds, we'll see our spotting. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Sourdough pizza. So we're just going to rip over a couple of basil leaves. One sourdough pizza done. It's delicious. It's good for you. So you can see it's still got a little bit of droop to it. I'm going to want that bit. From the combination of adding the oil to the dough when we made the dough and opening the dough in a mix of semolina and double O flour, that's given us this really nice kind of tan that we've got, a certain crispiness to it as well. Head to godsknee.com where you will find this recipe for this pizza, you will find a recipe and a guideline on how to build and maintain a sourdough starter and you too can be doing this and enjoying pizza just like I am. Float test. Yeah. We could have some cool music there, couldn't we? Like, float test. Mm -mm -mm. He's gonna do a test. See if it floats. It's the float test. Dun, dun, dun. He's gonna get some water. See if it floats. Hi. Welcome to the Emmy Award winning Gosney Kitchen. We save that. We need that at some point. Next up, 